Hi guys! Welcome back to another vlog! This is the 8th day on our Tokyo Osaka trip and we're now finally saying goodbye to Tokyo as today we will be transferring to Osaka. Hi guys! So today is our 8th day in our Tokyo Osaka trip and we're now saying goodbye to APA or APA Hotel Tokyo Bay Show Me that has been our home for the last 8 days as we will now be transferring to Osaka. Again guys, yung nabook namin na airfare with ANA Airlines as a free domestic flight from Tokyo to Osaka. Kaya naman babalik tayo ulit ngayon sa Haneda Airport to catch our flight Osaka at 1.20 p.m. It's been emotionally overwhelming because this is our last day in Tokyo. But then again guys, we will be back. We will definitely be coming back here. I don't know when but hopefully soon. Ito naman guys, yung super naging advantage namin using the ANA Airlines. Kasi we didn't have to worry about our luggages as we have two pieces of luggages of 23 kilos each for our check-in baggage allowance. For domestic flights, we didn't have to go through immigration after the bag drop, uh, security check na agad, and then doon na rin kami kumain ng brunch namin. For our lunch at the airport, the usual Periton katsu ang kinain namin for our sun chicken karage, and we paid a total of 3,720 yen or 1,376 pesos. For this domestic flight, we were riding their Airbus and we don't have an in-flight entertainment. Wala rin food, supposedly dapat may isa-serve sila na drinks. But due to the turbulence, hindi na raw nila masaserve yung drinks. And we were given a free headphones kasi meron jack dun sa seats mo and you can listen to music naman. However guys, even though they don't have in-flight entertainment, you can connect to their local Wi-Fi service on your phones and you can monitor your flight map there and you can also watch movies. Dito guys, we were so blessed to see the Mount Fuji on this flight. So as I have mentioned on my previous vlogs, hindi na kami nagpunta ng Mount Fuji kasi medyo complicated yung commute niya. And then kung magbubok naman kami ng mga tour sa cloak, medyo pricey and feeling naman namin hindi rin worth it kasi mamamadali lang kami to visit each place. And lastly, as I, I have mentioned then. Uh, medyo 50-50 kasi ang pagpapakita ni Mount Fuji. So, pwedeng pupunta ka doon pero hindi siya magpapakita. We are really so blessed to see the Mount Fuji from our airplane window kasi sabi nila, it gives you good fortune when you see Mount Fuji. And super thankful kami na nagpakita siya sa amin. Actually, saglit na saglit lang kasi after a few minutes, naging foggy na yung view.
đây đi For our Osaka hotel, we booked Super Hotel Umeda Higobashi for three nights and we paid 14,600 pesos. We have three beds, the bunk bed style siya. The room was a bit small but for this booking, free buffet breakfast was included. It was a 400 meters walk from the nearest train station Higobashi. Tapos, lagpasan nyo yung exit 7, dun sa exit 8, and dun yung May elevator. And that's it for this video guys. Thanks again for watching and see you again on the next vlog.